Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For a long time now, I've been teasing at this donut recipe. Now, full disclosure, I did not fully make this up by myself. It's an adjusted recipe that I found on Pinterest. I will link all that information down below. So credit where credit is due. Otherwise, I'm very excited to finally share this recipe. So starting off in a huge mixing bowl, I'm putting in all my dry ingredients. So one and a fourth cup oat flour. I blended this myself from oatmeal, one half teaspoon baking powder, one half teaspoon baking soda, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. Pinch of salt. One and a fourth cup of raw cane sugar. And I'm whisking all that together. If you wanna use a different kind of flour or a different kind of sugar, feel free to. And in a smaller bowl, I'm gonna prepare the wet ingredients. Going in with half a cup plus two extra tablespoons of almond milk, one teaspoon apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of vanilla. One and fourth cup of pure maple syrup, not pancake syrup, maple syrup. <laughs> Then I'm using this frozen berry mix as my filling. It's got blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. Here's where you can add like chocolate chips or like carrots and walnuts and cinnamon. You can make pineapple upside down cake with these. Pretty infinitely customizable as far as the filling. Then I'm adding the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Mixing that super well. And then I'm just gonna leave it to sit for about five minutes. And you can see it's so much thicker than it was before. That's because I give the cornstarch time to rest and thicken. So here is my silicone donut pan. I'm making six donuts today, so I'm gonna ignore that hole in the middle. I use a fourth of a cup to scoop the batter into the mold. I've tried this in a silicone pan and then just like regular metal pan. I actually prefer the metal one personally, and I've tried it oiled and unoiled. I found it doesn't make a whole lot of difference, so that's all on personal preference. Then with a clean finger, I just scoop the batter off of that part of the mold. baking this at 350 degrees for 13 to 15 minutes or 20 to 25 if you're using a silicone pan like me. Now, depending on what pan you have will also determine this next step. So because I have silicone, I had to let it cool completely, completely before even attempting to pop them out of the mold. Otherwise they will just fall apart. But if you have a regular metal pan, you can let it cool for like five minutes and then flip the pan over onto a cooling rack and then let it cool the rest of the way. I like that better, especially when I'm trying to make more than six. And after they're completely cooled, you can add whatever frosting or sprinkles or decorations you like. Sometimes I like to drizzle a little bit more maple syrup on the top and add some crushed walnuts or something. Everyone I've ever made it for has loved them. I've made them so many times, huge fan. But yeah, hope you enjoy. See you guys next time, bye.